So I'm on Camus Beach, going to do a little overnight camp in fish. Just going to look for a spot to do some camping and then I'll find a spot to fish. See if we catch any found or anything. I'm not going to do a catch and cook or anything. I've got some food with us. On top of that, there's nothing at this time of year worth cooking or keeping. It's all small. There's a place over there I could camp on the other side of those orange buildings. Only problem is I've got to go through a small gate and there's a god dog that goes right up to the gate. Yeah, I'm not planning on setting up the uh, tent or anything until I'm about ready to go to sleep. So that'll probably be about one o'clock. So I might look a bit dodgy if I'm trying to get in there at one o'clock because the dog obviously let the uh, security in there might call the police and then he can answer questions and blah blah blah. So anyway, I'll see if I can find a spot. So there's a little bit of the bank here. Looks big enough to pitch a little tent in. I've got the uh, Highlander Blackthorn with us. It'll be the first time trying that out. And that'll keep us hidden away from the road, which is just there. You can't see it because of the sun. It's about to go down. Coming up to seven o'clock. Must be some fish around. There's a guy there with a fishing boat. So I've seen a few spots, but that first spot that I showed has got the most potential. So I'm just going to have a couple of hours of fishing. Then when it gets dark, I'll see about setting up the uh, tent and have something to eat. Got the Alice pack with us as well. Been using it as a bug out bag, so it's just been sitting around doing nothing for a while. So I thought I'd use it. So that's the rod all set up. Just using a two hook rig. Got some big bits of mackerel on them. Let's see if we get anything with that. So I'll leave that about 20-30 minutes and then bring it in. So I found a good spot to pitch the tent right here. It's flat. It's right next to where I'm fishing. The only downside is there's a public footpath right here. And the road, like I say, is right there. But I'm not going to pitch the tent until about 1 o'clock, something like that. Nobody's going to be walking the dogs at that time. And I'm planning on being away by about four o'clock, so it shouldn't matter. Could pitch right there. There's like a hill. You'll be completely invisible from the road as well. Might be a good spot. But whatever. Coming up to half past now. So we'll see if we get anything, we'll give it another 15 minutes and then I'll pull the rod in. There's a lot of perfect spots for bivvy camping. So I wish I'd brought my bivvy bag with us. I've just ordered a British Army issue Gore-Tex bivvy. Haven't got that yet, but saying next time I get it, I'm definitely going to bring it down here and have an overnighter. With that. So I finally got my new tripod as well. So far I'm really liking it. Packs down about a foot. And when it's fully extended it comes up past five and a half feet tall. It's a uh, Andoa. All aluminium apart from the like the hinges. 
these are all plastic and this head's plastic but I can remove it this whole area comes off and I can stick on a metal ball and socket joint but it's got this bit for a phone and if I don't want to use a phone I can stick a normal camera on there now it's got levels and everything on it and it's got this panoramic thing on it so I can rotate it without with making it like perfect turns forget what the word is anyway it's time to bring this rod in so we'll get cracking with a knacking and get her in I've got something. Little sounder. Too small to keep, but like I say, I've got food, so I'm not going to be keeping anything I catch today, so we'll get that back. So I think I found a better spot right here to pitch the tent. Got some cover, so we'll see if it fits. It looks like it should be okay. It should be big enough, if not then I'll just go back to the original plan and pitch it up over the top there. It just fits for the inner tent, unfortunately the fly sheet extends past another foot, that's not going to fit. Would have been the perfect spot if it did though. So that's the tent pitched, doesn't look too bad, blends in quite nicely with the grass. And this is the spot that's literally right next to a footpath. Shouldn't be a problem though, like I say, I hope to be away by about four o'clock. My pocket was getting hot. The flashlight switched itself on on full beam.
There is kimchi, real kimchi. It's all on the bottom, you see it coming up. So that's awesome, it's actually got kimchi in it. Thick slabs as well. It tastes really good. For dessert, red velvet cake. Pretty good. So I'm just gonna have a little fire just for a few minutes and then I'm gonna throw out another bait and see if we can catch some more fish. And then I'll probably go to the tent and try and get some sleep for tomorrow. It's only 10 o'clock, so I'll fish till around 12 o'clock and see if I can get some sleep. Just gone quarter past ten. Just throwed another bait in the water. So I'm gonna leave that about half an hour and then go and see it. Go and see it. Go and check it, bring it in. Only problem is I can't see my bike or rod. It's been a hell of a hike down to the water's edge. I can just see the reflectors on the bike there. Camera won't pick it up. I brought in the last cast, nothing on it, so I'm not going to bother continuing to fish. It's a long way down to the water's edge, and I don't want to leave the tent by itself pitched with me back here and the uh, rod and everything all the way down there where I can't see it. It's uh, getting foggy now as well, so everything's damp, including the air. Uh, inside of the fly sheet of the tent so I'm gonna have a beer and then try and get some sleep and I'll see if I wake up dry tomorrow just gonna have a Cronenberg pint can then I'll hit the sack so it's about to go to bed so as far as sleeping gear goes I've got my BAM USA uh, sleeping bag by Coleman. I was going to bring my budget one by Crivet, I think it is called. But uh, I think it might be a bit too cold for that. It's been 25 degrees Celsius. Daytime temperatures. Yesterday it was 15. So the Crivet would have been good, but... Uh, It's forecast for fog, and obviously there's a lot of fog around now. It feels a little colder, so I think I made the right choice in going for the uh, Coleman. It goes down to minus 10, so it should be good. And I've got the German Bundeswehr folding sleeping pad, which I still really like. And for a pillow, I use my Naiwaki canvas a uh, drawstring bag with the uh, schmag or schmog uh, stuffed into it. It's still one of the most comfortable pillows I have. So that's all I use and I bet I'm about the only person on the planet that uses a Naiwaki canvas bag as a pillow. So yeah that's it for my sleep setup. It's uh Everything's pretty wet. There's a lot of uh, moisture in the air inside of the tent as well as damp. I don't know if you can see it. The fly sheet is uh, pretty wet. But the inner tent is very dry. In fact, it's bone dry. And I've just realised I forgot to peg out the uh, 
these bits. That means I forgot to do the other side as well, but uh, I don't think that'll matter. I'm going to leave the bag outside the tent because there's no room for it in there. Here it go, cargo past, but so thought I'd switch off the headlight. But I've got a. I'm going to put this in a bag, which I've got right here. It's just a bin bag to keep that dry. But uh, that should stay dry. Hasn't got anything in it that I don't mind getting wet. That was what I had on before. I'm actually wearing a British Army Norwegian uh, sweater now. Which is awesome. I got some dry socks as well to change into as well. Just as I'm close to the road, every time I hear a car, I switch off the uh, headlight. But uh, anyway, I'll change into my dry socks, get into the bed, and. I'll see you all tomorrow, so good night. Well, yes, me and Asai. It's 3.30. Woke up about an hour ago. Can't get back to sleep, so... Point is lying here any longer. Inside of the tent. At least the fly sheet. It's soaking wet. I feel dry though. Find out when I get out. Very foggy. So the foot box of the sleeping bag is soaking wet. It's been touching the bottom. Tent. I feel dry though. Everything else feels pretty dry. That's the tent down. That's it for this video. Just a little camp, a little bit of fishing. I only caught one flounder. But at least it was something. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.